it's cold outside, that you can make yourself warm inside. Find one of the spots in the body that's warmer than the other spots and focus your attention there. And just hold the image of fire in your mind. And then once you notice that it does get start starts getting warmer, then you can let that sense of warmth spread. This is one of the ways in which the monks can live out in the forest. On days when it's really hot, they focus on the cold spots inside. On the days when it's cold like this, you focus on the warm spots. In other words, you want to realize that you've got some resources in here that you're not taking full advantage of. This applies particularly to the breath. There's so much that the breath can do to calm you down when you're tense, to energize you when you're tired, to give the mind a good place to stay. Because you want the body to be in balance for the mind to feel at ease in the present moment. Now, there are times when it's going to be out of balance and there's nothing much you can do, but try to take advantage of what potentials are there. And you begin to discover there are other potentials as well. It's the same with your own mind. There are lots of potentials inside the mind. There's a potential for laziness, but there's also a potential for, for energy. There's a potential for being skillful and having good will, and there's a potential for being very unskillful and having ill will. Those potentials are there. And if you tend to hang around with the unskillful potentials, you begin to think that that's all the mind has. But realize that these other potentials are there. Find them. Make the most of them. That way you get full benefit out of the fact that you've got a human body, you've got a human mind. There's a lot of good that human beings can do. There's a lot of evil that human beings can do. The potentials are in, in all of us, but the wise people are the ones who see that the potentials for good are worth developing, even when it involves sacrifices of other kinds. Because the goodness you do doesn't die. Your actions have consequences, whether you intend them to have consequences or not. The consequences are there. So try to look carefully at what you're doing and then adjust your actions, adjust your intentions accordingly so that you get the good results that you want, the results of a happiness that doesn't harm yourself, doesn't harm anybody else, or a happiness that's blameless. And that's the only kind of happiness that really lasts. And as long as we have the ability to act, we should act for a happiness that's worth all the effort that goes into it. And the happiness that comes from generosity, that comes from virtue, that comes from meditation, that fills the bill. <laughs>